everybody, I'm SimSweetie and welcome to this video that has been extremely, extremely, extremely requested. It is a how you install custom content for The Sims 3. Yes, it has been very, very requested. And that is the main reason why I am doing this. I know that there are plenty, plenty, plenty of tutorials out there on this subject, but... Yeah, I just thought I'd do my own because people asked for it, so that was just that's my thoughts, so yes. We'll mostly be focusing on Sims package files in this little, little tutorial thing, and I'll kind of touch base on Sims 3 packs, but Sims 3 packs are pretty easy to install. It was more packages that I had a lot of trouble with, so... I will instruct you on how you actually install that. So let's So begin. first thing you're going to need your mods folder. So you can actually go to Mod the Sims and I will have this link in the description. And you can hit this little download button. And then I have it saved to my downloaded mods folder. And if you want to just keep all your custom content organized, then I would recommend making a downloaded mods folder where you have a little file or folder called installed and I also have this one called things to install if I just have stuff that I want to install later but installed basically what I do is we'll go ahead and start off by extracting this and to extract you do need something like a program that can extract zip files and RAR files so I use 7-zip I believe yes I do I use 7-zip which I believe it was free and there's other ones out there like WinZip and stuff, and this is probably only applies to PC. I don't really know anything about Mac. I've never had one. But anyway, what I use this installed folder for is once I unzip something, I just go ahead and I put it right under installed, and then every once in a while I clear out the installed folder and I just put like zips and stuff that I just don't need, and like if it comes with a preview picture, then I don't need that. So then you are going to want to get to where you need to put this folder, of course, that you can get from all the sims. So to get there, what you need to do is you need to go to Documents, My Documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 3, and then you are to this area right here. So I'm just going to go like this. Now you're going to want to take this folder and just drag it right over and make sure it's just moved to Sims 3 and then it will be there and in this folder you have your overrides which should be empty just leave it alone don't touch it just keep it there you have this resource.cfg and honestly I don't know what this does but I know that you have to have it there to have it work so just don't touch that either just leave it there and then you have packages and this is basically where you're actually going to be putting the custom content that you download. You're going to put it in here. So when you first download this off Mod The Sims, you will have in there the No Build Sparkles and No Intro Mods. So the No Build Sparkles basically when, you know, when you kind of like build a wall, I guess you could say, there's like sparkles. This gets rid of it. If this is something that bothers you, then you can leave it there or delete it. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it because I don't even want it there. And then the no intro mod is basically when you open up your game, you know, that little video that plays, yeah, that thing. It gets rid of it, and this is one of my favorite mods. I do have it in my own game because it just makes your game launch so much faster. You still have to go through, like, a loading screen and stuff, but not, like, the little video that it plays, if you know what I'm talking about. So I personally really like this mod, but of course you, didn't, you don't have to keep it if you don't want it. It's just something that it comes with. So, now on to actually downloading custom content. From here, it's actually pretty simple. So, this is for packages. So, find any custom content thing that you want to download. For this demonstration, I just have by Samoa, and she retextures hair, and I love her retextures. They are so nice. So, as you can see here, sorry, the cursor is really small. It's just what Samoa has. Set on her Tumblr, there is two options. You can download the file from Mega or Mediafire. So Mediafire, my computer hates Mediafire. It's just, it's very slow and it's hard to download from. So I don't really like Mediafire, but if you did want to download from Mediafire, you could just hit download. 
But I'm going to go ahead and personally I'm going to choose Mega just because it seems a lot less clunky. So then you're obviously just going to want to hit download and it'll take just a second to download. It might take a little longer because I am recording this. And then I am just going to go ahead and save it to where I want to save it. And it saves right down here. So I'm going to hit show in folder. And I want to make sure I don't have too many things open right now. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> so I'm just going to have that open on one side and I'm going to have my mods open on the other. So to unzip something, once you have 7-Zip installed or WinZip, it's really your choice. They're very, very easy to install and completely safe. So And it's free. Oh, I've got to sneeze, but I'm not going to, hopefully. So if you're using 7-Zip, then just right-click, hover over 7-Zip, and hit Extract here. And then you see a bunch of files come out of this folder. Or zip, or no, it's a RAR. It's the same thing. It'll open up zips and RARs. So I'm just going to take what I need. So I don't need this RAR, so I'm going to put this under installed. This is just a preview of the picture, or the hair. It's a preview picture of the hair. And this is what it looks like. You might want to keep that, personally. I don't ever keep those, so I just put it in installed. And then there's three files right here. There is one for toddlers, one for children, and one for teens through elders, and these are all for females. So CF is children female. I honestly, I don't know what the P stands for, but I know this is for toddlers. So that's toddler female, and this is teen female through elder female. A lot of the times I won't install the hairs for toddlers just because a lot of the times they look really weird. So normally I would just go ahead and put that under things to install and sometimes I'll install it for children if I think I'm gonna use it on my children but normally just to kinda keep the custom content on a minimum I would just install the teen through elder edition but for this tutorial I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do this but you could totally install these if you want to so then you have your package file and it's simple as just dragging it right here and then it is pretty much officially in your game so here I have the Sims resource which everything on this website uses Sims 3 packs and of course the Sims resource does not have the best wrap because they have a lot of glitchy stuff on there but what I would say is if it has this little star after this like it says featured artist then I'd say that it's probably good just be careful and like make sure that it looks trustable. So this is just a lip gloss created by Praline Sims. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and download it for this demonstration. So I'm going to proceed to download. And then you have to wait 30 seconds. <laughs> Alrighty, so it has been... It, it, not, mm, it is done counting down. And for this website, you do need to make an account, but it is free. But you can also upgrade if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and start this download. I'm going to save it right here. I think, do I already have this open? I do. Okay. So now, I don't have too many tabs open right now. Just making sure I'm not, like, going crazy or anything. Alrighty, so, next thing that you're going to want to do is download the Delphi Sims 3 Pack Multi Extractor. So, there's just a file, you know, save it, unzip it, install it. It's very simple. Very, very easy. There's some FAQ on here, like how do I install this? Just extract and hit run, and it's simple if you want to read a little bit more on that. But I do have it already installed, and it is right here. So then it looks like this. So you want to select the folder that your Sims 3 packs are in, and select the destination that you want it to extract to. So I just have the same folder. And then I like to rename the files, just so that it keeps the same name of the custom content item. And now what this is going to do, it is, is, is it is going to make your Sims 3 pack into a package file. And like I said, I just like to do this because I think that the Sims 3 launcher, which is the traditional way that you would normally install a Sims 3 pack through, is just, it's very annoying and clunky and it crashes a lot and I just, I hate it. You're still going to want to install lots, pretty typically through Sims 3 packs you know, the launcher traditional way. But if it's just like a lip gloss, then go ahead and do this. So all you're going to want to do is press extract. It is that quick and easy and simple. And then as you can see, we have the package version and the Sims 3 pack. So I'm just going to put this under installed. And I'm going to drag this. 
right here and now that is also in your game so it's actually quite simple once you get the hang of it it's very confusing at first I had a really hard time figuring it out at first I could I just I could not figure it out so I like to try to keep all my custom content pretty organized but I mean like that can be pretty hard at sometimes so at some at some points at some times I don't know just trying to make sense here and just to show you how I do that I have my mods right here so this is my mods folder I like to have it all like this so I have a folder for accessories that has all this stuff and some actually branch off into smaller like sections like under makeup then it goes into eyelashes eyeliner eyeshadow face and lips and I know a lot of people like to merge their custom content just because it'll make their game run faster but I've never done that alrighty guys so that is it for this video if you want more like tutorials like this then go ahead Comment down below. Honestly, like I said, it is very, very simple. Once you get the hang of it, just put that folder in your game. Get your 7-zip or win-zip or whatever you want to do. Extract it. It's, it's simple, okay? It's, but yes, I'm going to end this video right here. I will show you guys later. Make sure to subscribe. And yeah, bye!